Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time finding one of my videos, welcome. You're going to want to hit that, subs hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Today's video is not what I was planning on filming, and I'm a little, like, salty about it, but I had initially planned on filming a Stitch Fix video. I had scheduled it to come on Monday, so I have a wedding this weekend, and I was hoping that I could get, like, something to wear in it, but it hasn't come yet, and we leave tomorrow morning, so last minute... We are doing an Ipsy bag unboxing. So thankfully this arrived today, so like it saved my butt because otherwise you, I wouldn't have anything to film because I just don't have anything else. So we're doing an Ipsy unboxing today. Does anyone even care about Ipsy anymore? Like I feel like it's like not really even a thing. Does anybody still get it besides me? I don't know. I. I actually ended up changing my subscription to being every other month, so it's $12 every other month. I get good stuff in it. I don't know why, like, I just, I just feel like it's not really a thing anymore. Um, whoa. Okay, so, I guess first off we're looking at a brush here. Let's, let's see if we can find a little, isn't there supposed to be a card in there? Well, whatever. We have a brush, and this is the Moda angle brush i kind of hate that it's like bright blue i prefer like white or black or just like neutral colored things but i guess we have this like bright blue color so it's perfect for a child whatever it'll work i think okay it's kind of it's pretty dense what kind of brush is this it's an angle brush i feel like this would be good for like a contour like a nice little chisel maybe like a Maybe I could, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of the blue. Um, let's move on to the actual bag itself. Okay, I don't know if it's just me or if you guys can tell, but it kind of looks dirty. Can you see that? Like, it just looks kind of grimy. It's it look, Actually, it looks really pretty in the camera. But in real life, it just looks dirty to me. This, this looks childish as well. And it has a cute little silver charm on there. Adorable. Okay, here we go. Here's my little. The future is yours. August 2020. Looking forward to a bright and shiny tomorrow. Well, I hope it's bright and shiny tomorrow. Um, from achieving your glowy skin goals to discovering what lights you up inside and out. A whole new world of beauty valued at $50 is in your hands. Where will you begin? Okay, so the inside has some more. Stuff. I thought I usually told you what you got. The the cryo effect. Okay. Oh, that's just like new trends. So there's three next level ingredients to try. The cryo effect, CBD for strands, and mini hyaluronic acid. Okay. Let's dig into Z-Box. So first up, we have a Miracle pore minimizing serum little bottles cute i like that um let's open it up and see if it smells good i don't necessarily always love to put like smelly stuff on my face but if it smells good i'll do it this bottle's only half full too i mean i guess it's not that big of a deal but okay Literally has no smell. Yeah. Doesn't smell. Let's put some on the back of my hand just to kind of see. My hand doesn't really have any pores, but it just kind of kind of just feels watery. I'll give that a shot. I wonder if it's for like under your makeup or if you're supposed to wear it like like as a skin treatment. We'll try it out. I'll let you know how. Maybe I'll let you know. I might let you know how it works. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is good. This is the Glam Glow Bright Eyes. So it's pretty cute. Like this little tiny thing. It's like kind of adorable. And I like Glam Glow stuff. Usually they their products work well for me. Oh, it looks like a little cute little like ice cream sundae. I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of looks like ice cream. This isn't a smell either. It just smells like lotion. Okay, let's 
get a little bit and put it on my hand as well. Feels good. Feels nice. We'll try that out tonight for sure. I don't, sometimes I don't like love like an eye cream that's thick because I feel like it like kind of like pulls on my eyes and like makes my wrinkles like more defined. But we'll give her, give her a shot. Okay, next up we have the Kaleido Cosmetics Muse Skin Ultra Fine Pearl Illuminator. So this is what the box looks like. Let's take it out. The side of the box is really cute. It has like ocean. So it gives you like ocean vibes. Love that. So I have a wedding this weekend. And I We leave tomorrow morning. I literally haven't even packed. I have nothing ready. I need to do a self tan tonight. And it is 7.15. So I have a lot to do yet. Okay. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. Let's open it up and see. Ooh. That's kind of pretty. Let's go ahead and pop this on my cheeks and see if it's as pretty as it looks in the container. Okay, I have my little Jeffree Star highlighting brush that, by the way, you guys, my Jeffree Star video, I, like I had bought some like Jeffree Star products. Let's go take a little peek ski here because that video got so many dislikes and I feel like it was a pretty good video. Like, I don't feel like it was bad, but I'm assuming it's probably just anybody who hates Jeffree Star came over and just disliked any video. So, I got six dislikes on it. Whatever. Okay, let's let's try some of this highlighter out. It's not like super blinding, but it gives like a good glow. Can you see it? Let's put it on my nose. You can see that a little better. So I feel like this is a good for like just like a subtle glow. Just put a little bit in like the inner, the innards of my eye. Okay, that's that's kind of disgusting. Innards that kind of reminds me of like gizzard, like like on a duck or whatever. Like isn't that called a gizzard? It's okay. I always feel like whenever I get this brand, the Kaleido, Kaleido Cosmetics. I feel like they, I never am really too impressed. Like, I have tons of their products that I've gotten in Ipsy bags, and I've never really been, like, super impressed with them, and they just sit in my drawers, so. Okay, let's move on to the last product, which is the brand Estate, and it's Going Nutty Pressed Bronzer. Okay, this packaging is actually super adorable. It has, like, little nuts on it. They kind of look like coconuts to me. But it's called Going Nutty. Okay, we got another white packaging. This packaging, oh my gosh. Well, A, it kind of looks very similar to the Kaleidoscope Cosmetics one. But this is what it looks like. Here, I'm going to show you another one that it kind of looks like after we open it up and see. Okay, so that is the color. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's kind of peachy. Like, it looks a little bit too peachy for me. Let's use this new um, child's brush and test her out oh um, it's kind of good and this brush is actually kind of nice I feel like this would be a good bronzer for um like like if you want to not wear a bl not wear blush for a day like sometimes I'll just do like a contour and then I'll bring my contour color up a little bit higher just to give some color to my cheeks I feel like this color would be great for that I actually don't mind it. Okay, but let me show you what this looks like. This looks very similar to the ColourPop, doesn't it? And the ColourPop one, we're going way off topic here, but like, look at it, it doesn't even shut all the way. Can you see that? I don't know if you can tell, but like, see like the seal doesn't shut all the way? And it makes like a huge point on the back of it to like make sure you seal it all the way tight, but you can't because like the threads aren't even like, they don't go down far enough to seal it all the way tight. But, and this one's kind of the same way. Like, there's a gap. I don't know if you can see because it's not going to focus on it. But, like, they're very similar. They're like, they both do that. Um, okay, so that is everything from my August Ipsy bag. If you guys have not tried Ipsy and you want to, I'm going to leave a referral code down below. I think I get some points, maybe. Don't know what you do with the points, but I get some points if you click on my referral link. Um, 
if you are somebody who wants to try it but you don't want to like commit to the every month thing i would highly suggest doing the every other month because once a month almost gets to be too much for like every other month it's just like you kind of forget about it and it makes it more special so go ahead and give that a shot also leave me a comment down below if letting me leave me a comment down below letting me know if you're a last minute packer like me i'm kind of stressing out usually i'm not too bad at being last minute packer but today i kind of am and then also look forward to maybe getting a um another stitch fix video coming soon because hopefully it arrives that's another thing i'm concern concerned concerned about okay so if you guys do um stitch fix if you schedule it okay so i scheduled my delivery to come on monday because i know that we were i knew that we were leaving on thursday and then it hasn't come yet so like once you get it you only have like however many days to like return the stuff so like now that i'm not gonna get till tomorrow but i won't be home tomorrow and i won't be back until like monday like is that gonna like am i gonna get charged for it before i even get to try anything on like since it will have been delivered to my house let me know that too if you know but that is it i'm gonna go i'm gonna go get some stuff done sorry if this is a little bit of a shorter video and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button do that now please and i will see you guys on tuesday all right bye